Hello, it's Pastor Allen, and uh, I'm coming to you today live with our morning encouraging word. Uh, I just had to delete the last one <clears throat> because I just got into it, and Miss Sheila jumped on and said, no sound. So hopefully she'll jump on here now and let me know if my sound is working. It should be. Uh, everything's plugged up properly. So hopefully it is working now. But anyway, I want to give you a good word today to let you know, you know that God is with you. We were uh, at the tent revival with the McGregors last night, and uh, it really went well. Uh, God was doing great. Hey, Sheila, I love you. I see you on there, and I'm supposing that means I got sound this time. <laughs> Amen. I'm glad you jumped on and told me that. I've done the whole thing without, without uh, realizing that. But it was a great time last night. Uh, all seven McGregor brothers uh, were there. My, bro my brother Clay from Three Oaks was there, myself, obviously, and uh, today's Victory Church. We were there, and it was just an amazing night as the anointings of uh, ten men of God come together under one tent for, one, for that night. Now, they're going today at 11 each day and at night each night this week, but we were able to be there last night, my brother and I, and uh, the seven McGregor brothers were there, I was there, Clay was there, and my father was there in spirit, so that makes, that makes 10. And uh, so we were, it was just a great time, great altar service. In fact, on one of my feeds, uh, someone said they were at the soccer field, and uh, at times they could hear uh, some of the preaching, they could hear some of the altar call, they could hear uh, some of the worship going forth. So. People were getting ministered to that weren't even under the tent. Isn't that cool? And, and that was great. And, the, and they was just responding, saying, hey, that was awesome. They weren't complaining. They was actually saying that it was so incredible to be sitting there and be able to hear that and hear that kind of thing going forward. So that's really cool. But uh, I just wanted to uh, let you know that that's going on. So I encourage you to go visit them. It's right across the street from Colorado Grill uh, in, on the front end properties of the Christ Church over there next to uh, the soccer fields for White House. <clears throat> so you can't miss it. The lights will be up, the tents up, and uh, everything's going on. So I encourage you to uh, get involved uh, in that this week while you can. And also, just as a, as a reminder, before I go into my word of encouragement, this Friday at 7 at today's Victory Church, we're having a wave of light uh, for the preg uh, celebrating, not celebrating, but making aware of the uh, pregnancy uh, awareness of pregnancy loss, those who have lost children during uh, pregnancy. That's a big deal, and it's open to everybody in the community. Uh, uh, we're simply going to open the church up so everybody can come in. We're going to have a candlelight service uh, for that. Our director over Save One and Hospitality will be doing that, Heidi Combs, and we'll have a candlelight service over that, and then we'll have a balloon release for the, uh, the children that were lost. So I encourage you to come to that, that's at seven o'clock. And then also on this weekend, Sunday morning, uh, go to your church, if, whatever your church is, go to your church and, and be faithful to them. But Sunday night, uh, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday night, we're having revival services with Chris and Davey Brown, uh, Chris and Davey Brown, Chris and Davey Brooks, a good friend of, friends of ours. They are dynamic ministers. Uh, dynamic ministers and prophetic word and speaking into people's lives. This is something you don't want to miss. So if you, if you don't have a church or home to go to on Sunday morning, come see us at uh, 10 a.m. You won't regret it. And if you have a church, go to it. But on Sunday night at 5 o'clock, uh, 5 o'clock, come see us. I'll post it again on our website and everything so you can see it. But come see us at 5 and for another service. We're starting a little early, so we have time to do everything that needs to be done uh, in the altars and everything else that's taking place. I encourage you to be there, and uh, as we're going through this right now, share this. Share this, what we're, this word right now. Share this. Uh, I will post the YouTube channel uh, link uh, afterwards also, and you can uh, and share that link. Let's get as many people involved in hearing these words. Amen. So let me jump on it. I've been rambling for too long here before I got into the word. Let me get on here. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. That's the verse for today of encouragement. 
Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. The word says this, He tends his flock like a shepherd. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. Man, I like this passage. Now listen to this. He tends his flock like a shepherd. A shepherd loves his sheep. The shepherd's with his sheep. So he tends his flock like a shepherd, and he gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. Isn't that a, that's a great passage. And we're the children of God. We're the lambs of the, uh, of, of the shepherd. And, and this is telling us that he wants to hold us and he wants to carry us. And not just carry us, but hold us close to his heart. I have four things I just want to say real quick, just like I do every day. The first thing I'm about this, I want to say, your place, God has reserved a place for you right next to his heart. Can you imagine that? You have a place reserved next to the heart of God because God loves you. He wants to carry you. He wants to be with you. He wants to be there with you. He wants to hold you as close to his heart as he possibly can. So as you're going through the day today, I want you to get that in your heart and your spirit and let that speak to you, that God has reserved a place for you right next to his heart, a place reserved for you next to the heart of God. Amen. <laughs> that, that's encouraging just all by itself. Now, also, number two, he wants to lift you up. It's his desire to lift you up and to carry you like a shepherd would carry his sheep. It's God's desire to lift you up. It's God's desire to be with you. It's God's desire to hold you. So, you know, I don't know what you're going through today, and I don't know what situations you're having to deal with. Uh, I, I guarantee you there's a myriad of things that people are going through right now, but God is with you, and He will carry you through, and He will lift you up because he desires you. And not only will he carry you and lift you up, he's going to hold you close to his heart. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great today to walk around and experience, experience his loving arms wrapped around you? Do you know that you can do that? You can go through today and begin to speak a positive word and begin to speak words of life with all the craziness going on, with all the uncertainty things are going on, all this stuff that our society is trying to force on people and do. Listen. Listen, we had to make a stand, and we had to, we had to speak the word out. We had to speak with the word and truth, and we had to stand our ground, yes, but we don't stand our ground in fear. We don't stand our, in our ground because of fear or because of intimidation. We stand, our, we stand our ground because we understand that we are close to the heart of God, and if we'll allow, even in the midst of these situations, He'll wrap His arms around us and surround us with His presence. Now that's good news. No matter what's going on, he's going to wrap his arms around us. And the next is, you need to understand that you are his. You are his. I didn't turn, I didn't turn my phone off. You need to understand that you are his and that he will care for you and that he will carry you. You are his and he will, he will care for you and he will carry you. He desires to do that. He desires to do that. Listen, he tends his flock like a shepherd and he gathers his lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He, he wants to wrap his arms around you and he wants to carry you. He wants you to understand who you are and that you are his and that he is caring for you and he wants to care for you and he wants not only to care for you, but he wants to carry you. Amen. Uh, our uh, old friend of mine wrote a song one time called The Burden Bearer, that he is our burden bearer. Amen. So today as you walk through the day, I want you to let your heart be lifted and, and, and just understand and feel in your heart and your spirit and just get that feeling and begin to understand it that you are right next to the heart of God. He is holding you. He is carrying you. He is with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And he's holding you next to his heart. And he's uplifting you. And he's wrapping his arms around you even right now. All you got to do is, I said, you know, God, I know who I am. I'm a child of God. I was praying for a lady last night. And I said, you just need to say this over and over again. I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God of God. Say it so many times the devil gets tired of hearing it and he leaves you alone. I am a child of God. How can I say that? Because God holds me next to his heart. 
He's carrying, He carries me. He is surrounding me. And not only is He surrounding me and cares for me, He is he, uh, uh, carrying me. He cares for me. Isn't that a great word? God loves you today. And He wants to be with you throughout every situation, all the frustrations of the day, and all the frustrations of the society around us. He wants to be with you, and He wants to hold you and keep you. Stand strong. Stand for your ground. Don't be intimidated by the enemy. Don't react in fear. React in faith. Remember we said yesterday, you feed, you, you feed the thing, the, feed, the thing you feed most is what's prominent in your life. So feed your faith and starve your fear. But as you go through this today, hey, let him wrap his arms around you and realize you're being held close to his heart. And he's not only carrying you, he cares for you. And he loves you. He tends his flock like a shepherd. And he gathers the, the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. Hallelujah. What a good word. Let me pray for you right now. Let's just join with me. Father, I thank you for your goodness and your kindness, your grace and your mercy. I thank you for this word. I ask, Father, that it just penetrate every heart. And if anyone has a heavy heart today, Father, just lift it. Father, and if, if, if someone's going through a great trial right now or a great a situation, Father, beyond their understanding. I ask, Father, that you just keep your word in this, and that you wrap your arms around them and carry them and care for them and surround them with your loving arms and pull them close to your heart today and let them understand and feel and know that, that you are there, that no matter even what's going on in society around us, the circumstances or anything, Father, that you love us and we can still have joy and peace. And we thank you, Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope it's encouraged you today. Listen, do what I said. Share this. Share this. Just in a few moments, we'll have it up on YouTube, and I'll, send, I'll put a link on our webpage, and you can take that link, copy it, and you can send it any way you can imagine. You can send it through text. You can send it through Messenger. You can send it all kinds of ways. And uh, to link them to the YouTube page so they can see this also, because a lot of people don't have this part right here. God bless you guys. And I will see you tomorrow uh, with our word of encouragement. Amen.